Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I have a mandala Photoshop tutorial for you. So we're going to be using the symmetry tool just like we did in last week's video when I made the lace. That is a Procreate video. We use the symmetry tool inside of Procreate and I wanted to show you how you can do the same thing inside of Photoshop just in case you're a Photoshop user and you prefer to draw here. So I've also created some mandalas, you know, just to give you as an example and I will be creating some brushes out of these two. Let me go ahead and turn that one off. So I added some color here just for interest, but they actually look like this. So the stamp brush that you get will look more like this. It's not going to have all of this color attached to the back. For the color, all I did was just come in here, go to gradient, add a gradient. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and then change the blend mode to either multiply or to lighten. So for this one, I used multiply because it's a thicker line work. The same thing with this one, just much thicker line work, but I could easily change that. Let me go ahead and click on lighten. You can see what that looks like. Now on the post for this tutorial, you'll have an automatic download. So you're going to have a lace and a mandala brush there. And if you have access to the lab, uh, you'll have a whole pack of mandalas and a whole pack of the ABR lace brushes as well. And if you don't have access to that, don't worry, it's free. All you have to do is sign up at the footer of any page of prettywebs.com and you'll have access to that for free. I want to show you the tool that we're going to be using and that's right here, the symmetry tool. So if I click on that, I have all of these options available to me. There are other options that are grayed out here because you'll need it like for this one, you need a path. And then we have some other ones here. Uh, symmetry off is grayed out because we don't have symmetry on right now. But this is the tool that we're, we're going to be using. If you're working in an older version of Photoshop, uh, you'll have to come up here to Photoshop preferences, come here to technology previews. I don't have that available to me here, so I can't really demonstrate that for you. I'm using Photoshop 2021, so the option is not available, but in an older version, it will be here somewhere and you can just click on it, turn Photoshop off and then back on and you will see that little butterfly up there. So basically what it is, is just a drawing guide that mirrors what you're doing on the opposite side of the guide. Like for example, this circle, that is the circle that I used to create this right here. All I did was draw on one side and it mimicked the drawing on the other side. So I'm going to press the brush tool, make sure I'm on a layer. I'm going to press the brush tool and I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I just want a very thin line. I just want to show you what it's doing. So I'm drawing this line here and it's just mimicking it on the other side. What it's drawn on this side is smaller than it is on the outside. So they're not all like that, just this circle because you know you have a smaller space on the inside. But this is the first one. Now if I come back in here, you can see that I have the option to turn off symmetry because I have it activated here. I also have transform symmetry and hide symmetry. Um, this is the circle. This is just an example of the spiral. So that's going to be right here, horizontal line. A vertical line you can see that the line is here anything I drew on this side automatically got drawn on that side as well dual axis this is actually drawing in four quadrants so whatever I draw right here is going to show up on this side and whatever I draw on this side is going to show up on the opposite side here now if I go into this space here it's going to draw everywhere but if I'm drawing here on the axis, you know, it's just going to pick up right here on this section. Okay. So I just wanted to show you those. Let me give you some examples of the mandalas. Let me zoom back out here. And this is actually what they look like. I just added some color because they look more interesting that way. These two are really thick line mandalas and I wanted to show you this one specifically because I want to give you a demonstration of the difference between the mandala and radial. So if you see this right here, this little section, let me zoom in. Oops. Okay. So this little section right here, um, I should have used radial to do this, but I actually used the mandala and what mandala does is um, it, it does draw in symmetry, but it also mirrors. 
So whatever I drew here is also going to be drawn on that side. And it doesn't matter if I'm drawing inside of my little box. Um, it's still going to mirror that. So what I usually do is I'll, you know, do all of the bigger things in mandala and then I'll switch over to radial and I'll do like this type of detail work here so that I'm not getting double lines and things like that. So I just wanted to point that out just in case you start seeing something like that and it, it starts to bother you. Let me go ahead and turn this one off. These are um, thinner lines. That's kind of what it looks like without and then with the color. Um, and then here's just a few more examples of that mandala. So let's go ahead and get started with creating one of these. I am going to come up here to File, New, and I'm going to make just a 1024 by 1024. I'm going to take down my resolution to 72 and I'm working in color um, RGB color 8-bit. I'm going to go ahead and click Create and I'll add another layer here. Now you can see that that's not available. So I actually have to have my brush selected right here in order for this little butterfly to show up. So I just hit the B on the keyboard and I'm going to go ahead and click on this and choose the mandala. It's going to ask me how many segments I want. I'm going to use 8 for this one and you can use up to 10 uh, but we'll go with 8 for this. It's going to give me this guide. I can place it anywhere I want. Once I have it set to where I want it, I can just press return or enter on my keyboard and it's ready to go. As far as the brushes go, you can use any brush. I tend to use the hard round for things like mandalas. But you can use the pencil, any brush tool and the eraser tool for this. But there are some of these that will not work. So if you see like a little icon right here next to the brush, these types of brushes are not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and choose the hard round with pressure because I'm using a tablet. And then I'm going to just come in here and start drawing. So I like to draw out from the center and I'm going to choose a section. But keep in mind that because we're in mandala, it's actually going to mirror inside of the section. So it's not, you know, you're not going to go around like that where it mirrors, you know, onto each line. Um, you, you'll actually be mirroring inside. So let me give you an example. So if I want it to look, you know, if I want petals like this, I'll actually have to come in, you know, and, and uh, mirror from the inside. So just keep that in mind because that can be confusing. The difference between mandala and radial, that is it. Just that mirroring that it's doing right there. Uh, if I come in here to radial and I'm going to do eight also with that one. So this one is drawing off the line. So it's copying it in each section where the mandala copies inside the section. I hope that's clear. Let me go back over here to the mandala. I'm going to choose my eight, press enter to accept it. And I'm just going to come in and start drawing. So it's, it's pretty easy once you understand where the lines are going and then you can come back in with more detailed lines. Let me zoom into this a little bit just so that it's easier to see and then I can bring my brush tip up, make it thicker and actually what would have been better if, uh, is to bring the spacing of the brush down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just went into the brush settings to change that just to make this a little bit smoother. Okay, now this section, if I decided that I wanted to put some dots down here, this is where my mirroring is probably going to affect the design. So you can see where it started to mirror right there. If I come in here, so you'll see how I'm getting that double up right there. With that, instead of using the mandala, I would just come back in here, go to radial, switch that to 8, accept it, and then I can draw those dots out without having, you know, all of that extra there. And then I can just, you know, kind of swap between the two. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new layer and I'm here in the pen tool and I'm going to be using 
just the free transform for this just to give you an idea let's say I wanted my path to look like this like I you know I have something on this side and I want this to be a, a border or a frame or something for it so I made this uh, specific line I'm going to go back into the, my brush tool hit the letter B on the keyboard okay and now that I have the brush tool selected I can come back into symmetry and choose selected path do all the adjustments just the way I did before press enter and now I have that symmetry path that I can draw on and it's going to behave just like the other symmetries did it's completely custom though just keep in mind if you come over here to the path tool sometimes like me I have a, a whole bunch of paths here sometimes you don't have any but uh, just make sure that that path that you just created is selected before you go into the brush tool and do all of this stuff so that's the only thing as long as you have the right path selected you should be fine